Uh, right, now we've got one last story that I'll leave you with. It's all about my culture, where rumba, a popular genre of music rooted in Africa and which originated in the ancient kingdom of Congo, now known as the Democratic Republic of Congo and Congo Brazzaville in the 1940s. Over the years, different African countries have adopted and localized rumba. This week on My Culture, we focus on Kenyan rumba music. My name is Shiksha Aurora. The sign language interpreter tonight has been Byron Abuli. Good night. I'll see you next week and do enjoy my culture on KFC Channel 1. This is Easy Friday. The hit song Sina Makosa by Leswanyika Band fills the air. <laughs> the 10-man orchestra plays the guitar, trumpet, bass, among other instruments, as they sing their hearts out. <laughs> The band rose to fame more than 40 years ago with Swahili rumba music. The group originated from the legendary band Simba Wanyika, which was formed in 1978. <laughs> Mwanzilishi wa hizo wanyika alikuwa Wilson Peter alitokea uh, Tanzania Tanga kwa bendi inaitwa Jamhuri Jazz akatoka Jamhuri Jazz akaunda Arusha Jazz akahamia Mombasa kufika Mombasa akabadilisha jina ndio akaitwa Simba Wanyika <tune> The renowned band, initially comprising members from Tanzania and Kenya, came to life when drummer Rashid Juma, guitarist Omar Shabani, bassist Tommy Malanga, saxophonist Sijali Salom Zoa, and Foni Mkwanyule left the Simba Wanyika band. They were joined by guitarist John Gereza and vocalist Issa Juma. <laughs> Nacheza gita la la besi. Na gita la besi ni waya ine kama ngoma za kienyeji wa ngoma nne. Sasa mimi ndo nilichukulia ujuzi wangu kutoka zile ngoma ndo nikaanza kucheza besi. Eh, kupiga ngoma nzito nzito hivi mitungi. Close to a score, the band was at the helm of their music career. However, it all came crashing down. Sasa kuna wazee wengi walituacha. Sasa wakati walituacha ndio tuka tukapumzika kiasi. Mm. Kilichofanya turudi ni hizi nyimbo zetu. E, watu wengi walikuwa na tushauri kwamba Kenya mzima, e, East Africa mpaka tuseme huko South huko nyimbo za leswanyika ukikanyaga huko kama unatoka East Africa lazima kama ni bendi lazima utaulizwa sina makosa sina makosa hizo Paulina 
sasa ndio tukashauriwa kwamba kama mimi na Tommy Malanga na Rashid Juma tupo kwa nini tusiendeleze bendi kwa sababu nyimbo ndio zimetufanya sasa zi tu tuendeleze bendi After 24 years hiatus, the group made a comeback due to public demand. In 2019, the new team comprised of trumpeter Sijali Zoa, bassist Tommy Malanga, trumpeter Bernard Kilindo, lead guitarist Albert Tuesday Oguro, rhythm guitarist Johnny Sapi, drama Nsabaha Zuberi, vocalist Rama Kocha, Charles Obala, Rajab Kadima and percussionist Hassan Muhammad. One of the founders and trumpeter Sijali Zua says most of their songs were inspired by real life stories. For instance, the famous hit song Sina Makosa emerged after one of their band members was involved in a bar fight with another man of our woman. Sina Makosa ni story ya ukweli. Eh na leswa nyika nyimbo zetu nyingi zinakuwa za matukio ya ukweli. Yes. Sasa sina mwakosa Professor Omari alikuwa na uh, girlfriend wake tuseme. Lakini ha, ha, alikuwa anafikiria ni wake yeye binafsi peke yake kumbe walikuwa jamaa wawili. Mm. Walizozania huko kwa ba. Sasa Professor Omari akapata tu hiyo kwamba wewe una wako nyumbani mimi na wako nyumbani. Chuki ya nini? One of the reasons attributed to the loyal following of Rumba songs is the combination of musical beauty in its lyrics, melody, instrumentation on top of narrating touching stories. Na ni bendi ambayo inacheza rumba ili wao wenyewe wanapenda ile rumba ya lesi wanika kwa sababu nyimbo zetu ni za mawaidha mazuri zina mafunzo hata wa Kenya wenyewe wanazipenda lakini lesi wanika nyimbo zao nyimbo zetu ama za simba wanika unaweza kusikia ukiwa hata na mama mkwe watoto eh, unasikia kwa sababu ziko na mafundisho <mulia> Leswanyika redefined the Kenyan rumba musical landscape with their varied hits like Safari ya Samburu, Afro, Barwayako, Amigo, among others. In Central Africa, the word rumba is derived from the Kikongo word for novel, nkumba. Despite its African origins, Rumba is closely associated with Latin dance. The style of rumba that emerged in Cuba in the 19th century had its roots in the drumming of slaves from Central Africa, which was then combined with melodies from Cuba's Spanish colonizers. When political turmoil engulfed Congo immediately after independence, records from Congo started finding markets across the border. And one of the things that defined the Congolese emigrants around East Africa was the music band. Most of these bands played rumba. From the stature of a Congolese style, the genre acquired local acceptance to the extent that Swahili was used to sing rumba music. These included Congolese bands like Orchestra Maki in Tanzania alongside Mzee Makasi, which played rumba in Swahili. But also, local bands and musicians such as Simba Wanyika, Les Wanyika, Fundi Konde, Daudi Kabaka and Fadili William choosing to sing rumba in Swahili.
Furthermore, some local bands chose to adopt rumba to the local Kenyan dialects, for instance, Kabasele Ocheng of Luna Kidi Band and Musa Juma of Limpopo International Band established themselves as rumba grades who could play but sang in pure Dholu with Swahili. <laughs> Others chose to lean towards the Congolese style, such as Kombo, Komboze from Taita. Along with Benga, Rumba is one of the most popular beats on the pop scene in Kenya. Even as music evolves with time, more youthful musicians emerge as well as other music styles. The iconic Leswanyika band points out that Rumba has not been short of loyal followers, even as they highlight that new music is in the works and their spirit remains unmatched. Sahi, ama kila bendi inataka kucheza style ya lesu wanyika. Ndiyo naona vijana wanaiga ili wapate ule mood eh, ama style ya kucheza miziki ya rumba kama lesu wanyika wakifanya bidii watakuwa kama sisi sababu hata sisi ni bidii yetu mazoezi kwa wingi na kujitunza hata wao wakifanya bidii na kujitunza basi watakuwa kama sisi mipango iko tunajaribu pia kupata wafadhili eh, tupate pia wafadhili wenye watatu sponsor tumekuja kuzi kusisimamia tena vizuri shauri ya nyumba zetu ni nyimbo tu za heshima tunazapika pale popote vile hata ezalia tu mbele ya wazazi wako haina asha hivyo Jackie Wambiru my culture